So I accidentally released one of my hardest songs onto SoundCloud when I meant to schedule it. I didn't find out until like a day later when someone messaged me saying, yo, drop this on all platforms. I meant to like weeks in advance, but whatever it is, what it is, the full song is going to be linked in the description along with a pre-save link. If you want to pre-save it, it'll help me out. I would appreciate it. Anyway, I want to show you some effects. It's a very dark, sinister vibe. And there's a few effects that I threw on in multiple different vocal chains that made a huge difference in how it sounded. So here's the first hook. There's three effects in specific I want to go over, but let me just show you what it sounds like. So face, front and neck up, pulling duct tape, body shots, got a lot of smoke, and it's on me, yeah, you talk a lot, gotta play with a switch, you can't double take, super hot, fire, let them off, get them all the race. Now the three in particular that make the world of a difference is Doubler 4, SSL Channel, specifically E Channel, and MDMX Fuzz Stereo, which is basically just a distortion plugin. Here's the settings I have on the Doubler plugin, and we have a bit of detuning going on for each of the voices as well. Again, this just adds a little separation between the main vocal and the backup voices. Then we have SSL Channel after that. I basically just use the CLA Guitar Amp 3 preset. This adds some more distortion as well as a little bit more EQing going on. It makes it sound like a little bit more rock-like, I suppose. And then we have the MDMX fuzz stereo it is set to the not too dirty preset and then i have the mix set at 10 percent anyway here's what it sounds like without the effects on i'm going to toggle them on halfway through so you can notice the difference this next section here is really cool as well. I've never done this before. I basically made it sound like my vocals were like coming out of a megaphone or something in like a concert hall. The way it delays and echoes sounds so cool to me. I just, I love it. I'm blood sucking in this bitch. Kill my mother wanted shots. Echoes out five, five, six. You can't tell me shit. So really all I did here was I removed the doubler, I added that same SSL channel preset, and then I adjusted my H delay. So instead of echoing at a quarter note or whatever I had it at, it's now echoing at a 16th note. I have the feedback at 88, which is the max that I could have before it would just infinitely echo without stopping. And it's set to 30%, so it's very noticeable. So these are the vocals by themselves. I'm blood sucking in this bitch, kill him off with one shots, and goes out, it's five, five, six. And then we have this backup high pitch layer, which sounds pretty crummy on its own, but when it's not layered in there, it definitely feels like something's missing. And the third part I want to go over is the last hook. I did another layer where it was a high pitch just the entire way through. And then I yelled some of the bars that are in the hook. I'll just play it all together and then I'll isolate those layers after. So face, So we have this layer here with yells going on and then underneath it we have another one where I basically just duplicated those yells from the top layer. I moved them over one bar and this is because I wanted them to sound like they were echoing in the middle one more time and then it would start echoing left and right. There are so many delay plugins going on here too. It's actually insane. But on this one I actually put on two H delays. The first one is echoing at a 16th note. It's just the preset that I was mentioning before still at 30%. Then after that I have it echoing at a half note. So everything that already echoed out of the first H delay is now echoing one half note later so it's very slow delays of the fast delays also set to 30 percent feedback is set to 61 this just fills space for a longer period of time and then again we have a half note delay underneath here i have the feedback set at 47 the wet is set to 40 percent, so it's a little bit more noticeable actually i thought of one other effect that i want to show you in fl studio but before that i'm going to run over today's sponsor which is distro kid if you don't already know how to get your music on spotify apple music deezer any of those big platforms that you can't just upload straight to distro kid is the way they started only one dollar and 92 cents per month. I've been on their $3 and 33 cent per month plan for like four years now. And I have absolutely no complaints. I love their service. Cause I mean, every plan comes with unlimited uploads. And since I drop weekly, I don't have to worry about paying a ton of money every time I upload. Before I wrap it up here, I want to give you a couple of tips when you go to upload music through DistroKid. Whenever I choose a release date, I always choose a Friday. I set it for 12 AM. And then I choose this specific option here for New York time. This is for Spotify only, but it seems to help me with release radar specifically. And then down here in the extras, I don't really pay for anything else other than the discovery pack but i really like it because it adds your music to iphone siri and shazam it doesn't really sound like much but in the last week i got 17 shazams i mean i get quite a few every single week they tally up long term but anyway thank you to distro kid with that said let's get to the last tip so right here at the very end you can see there's a beat cut and then this really chopped up tail i'm going to show you what it sounds like real quick get on my race. So you can hear it pitches up and just decays for a very long time. I have Fruity Delay 2, Fruity Reverb 2, 
as well as a plugin from Waves called Vocal Bender. The automation clips here are pretty much all the same. I have them all starting off and then they automate on as they get to the end of the tail. This way, the last couple of pieces will really delay and really reverb out. Here are the settings that I have for delay and reverb. A lot of decay on the reverb, medium sized room, ping pong delay going left and right pretty noticeably, quarter note delay. And then we have the most important part, which is Vocal Bender. I have the pitch and formant set up one octave and then the automation is actually within the vocal chain itself, meaning it's not actually adjusting the pitch the whole way up being like, Ooh. Instead, it's actually taking a layer that's not pitched up and a layer that is pitched up and then slowly just changing the volumes over time. And that's how we get that nice little tail sound. If you like it, go stream it, go pre-save it. Sign up for DistroKid with my VIP link. Anyways, guys, it's been your boy MMXVI and I'm out. Peace.